Thanks, uh, Chair, for letting me in. And um, apologies for, for being late for the debate, but I did listen to the, to the previous deputies, all who spoke um, very clearly on the issue. Um, and I'm really coming here as an alternative to Richard White Barrett, who's at another uh, committee. And I wish it was Richard that was here, because Richard, as we know, was born in a mother and baby home, and one of those that are e excluded from the list, uh, one of the excluded lists of many things that are excluded from this scheme um, that you have come up with. I, I, I can't say how, uh, dis how utterly disgusted I am with what we're doing here in this stall today. Um, if it were not for the debacle in RTE being televised live and everybody in the country being glued to it at the moment, everybody in the country, I think, would and should be glued to this because what's happening here is absolutely outrageous. Um, and I find it hard to believe, Minister, that you will stand over this. And in fact, I think this will damage your political and personal reputation for a long time because you will be known as the minister who carried this through. Unfortunately, that's the way the body politic and political life works. It will stick with you. And unless you're prepared to say, no, I'm not pushing for this anymore and accept the amendments or throw the whole thing out and start from scratch, I think it will uh, stick. Mud sometimes when it gets flung does stick. And in this case, I'm not sure why it wouldn't. Um, I, I realise, because I haven't been watching this too closely in the last week or so, I do realise, however, that what you're trying to do is to include alternative names for institutions to which apparently there were only those in mother and baby homes institutions that could, could get redress. Um, and there was apparently co-location of hospitals and mother and baby institutions on the same sites. And you're including a concluding date as sometimes mother and baby institutions migrated into ordinary county homes and including a new definition of relevant person to make sure that a woman who was in hospital rather than in a, a, mother, and institution, a mother and baby home institution would be eligible. And all of this would be fine if we could trust the nuns and the religious institutions to keep proper records. But how do we know what was really happening on co-located sites whether the year they say the mother and baby institution closed is the actual date that it closed and the fluidity that women were moved between institutions is likely to have happened. How do we know? And then the concluding date just brings another cut-off point which allows uh, this state, this government and the religious institutions to pay the least amount of money absolutely possible under some kind of a redress scheme and we'll see so many women and children left on the wrong side. If a county home and a hospital are on the same site and there's lots of movement between the two, how do you know what's really going on? And I think, uh, if I remember well, um, one of the deputies mentioned uh, Victor Boyne, who was born in one of these institutions that is named in the bill. And the concluding year with that is 1935. However, he was born in 1961. And he knows people, other people, who were born there in the 60s. Names changed and people were moved from place to place. And when you take this into account, the more rules you make, the less people who will be eligible. And those who were hurt by the state and the church will be left without redress. To be honest, Minister, this is just more of the same. And consistently, this government has had to be dragged kicking and screaming to provide redress for anyone, anyone at all, whether it was cervical check or institutional abuse, or Magdalene laundries, and now the mother and baby homes. And when you do provide it, you often renege on promises and try and limit the amount that you have to pay, while at the same time protecting the church and its funds and its, re its reputation. For years it was believed that county homes stopped admitting unmarried pregnant women in the early 60s, and that was later changed, and is still changing. So we can't uh, in all fairness, put in con concluding dates. I think the whole country has been outraged by the revelations of how mother and baby homes um, were, where people in mother and baby homes are treated and how these institutions operated and how the whole state operated in collusion with the Catholic Church, who was dominant at the time, but also other uh, churches. And, and here I just want to make the obvious point that one of the things we have to do if we want to be a truly modern, progressive uh, Ireland is to break that connection between church and state, to absolutely have that separation. 
But this, what we're doing here today or tonight, and I assume it'll get passed because your government have the majority, is cementing that relationship. It's firming it up, it's tying it down. And I think it is so, so hurtful to many people. Um, and just to conclude, I mentioned Richard because he's a colleague and he should have been here speaking. But if Richard Boyd Barrett hadn't been fortunate enough to be adopted by a loving and caring and well-off uh, couple who gave him a good living and a good education, and then later in life he got to know and love and build a strong relationship with his birth mother. If he hadn't been fortunate enough for that, then all of the exclusions that you're making for very many people who weren't fortunate to have all those ducks in a row in their life, you are now insulting them and hurting them and pushing them back even more and more. And I don't think, you, either you do realise it or you don't realise it, but you're, you, you're looking at me as if I'm talking nonsense and none of these things are happening. These things, this hurt, this exclusion, this long-term impact is actually happening to so many people who deserve all our uh, love, attention, putting our arms around them, and I mean that as, as, as people, as politicians, as a state who are responsible for what happened historically, to be able to change that for good now and to do something decent, and we're doing quite the opposite. So for sure we'll be opposing this bill, but I, I, I would wish that at the 11th hour you would say I'm walking away from this, I'm not going to be tarnished for the rest of my life with the reputation of the Minister who pushed this through. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Thanks, uh, thanks, Chair. Thanks, Deputy. And just to, to respond to the, the Deputy's point in terms of the, of the concluding year, so just again to, to reaffirm what I said at the outset, this bill is about um, keeping the original policy intention of this legislation, which is that 34,000 um, former residents of these institutions uh, have a right to apply under this scheme, and the changes that are being introduced are not going to reduce the number who may be able to uh, apply under that original policy intent. In terms of records, if there are no records uh, for a person's residence in a mother, maybe, or county home institution, we have a provision built into the bill early on in, 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 in the process that an affidavit can be used, that they can swear an affidavit in terms of their time within that particular institution. In, uh, well, again, if someone has an argument in terms of what they believe the, 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 the records say, they can, the, the, the affidavit process is there. Substantial work has been done in terms of identifying what those concluding dates are, but recognising that new information can come to light in terms of this area where, where, where records can be found. We have put in a provision into this legislation that allows for those concluding dates to be changed, to be made later, and that can be done through secondary legislation if that relevant information comes forward. So the concluding dates can be changed if it's proved that these institutions acted as county homes after those concluding dates.